good morning and welcome back to the channel so i figured i would try to get through some of this stuff on my desk and what this is is these are the cut aparts that are from like christmas paper uh, i just i went through and for whatever reason i decided to cut them all out so uh now i have a whole bunch of stuff so what I was thinking is I've had a lot of people talk to me about how they don't have um, like pre-made embellishments or anything like that. So I figured what I was going to do is I was going to kind of go through uh, a little bit of how I get pre-made embellishments. Okay. Um, and it's quite simple actually. Uh, you just sit down one day and you just start mass making things. Um, like I've got some pieces here and I'm just going to start gluing these down. Okay. And I think I might have another one of those. I've got some numbers here. Um, oh, I will show you guys too. I did make a December daily. I'm going to be doing it a little bit different than probably your average journaler, uh, because I don't know that I'm going to be doing a December daily traditionally. So instead, I'm going to be doing something different. So look forward to that. Um, and also, I was giving it some thought, and I think I've mentioned this before, but how many of you have heard of or watch ASMR videos? And if you do, do you watch crafting ones? I've watched some of the crafting ones, but I don't necessarily think I like the ones where they talk. I like the ones where they're quiet and they just kind of let the noises of whatever kind of be. Uh, so I really like those. But yeah, I'm not sure about the whole talky talk ones because they whisper and they're just, they sound creepy to me. It's just my own, my own opinion, obviously, but it's very creepy when someone is whispering at me. I don't like it. So all I'm doing here is I'm literally just gluing these down on a sheet of 12 by 12 um, scrapbook paper. I have like three or four of these papers left. I have used almost every bit of this pad. Um, or collection or whatever. It wasn't really a pad. It was a like a packet. A packet of paper. Um, I got from... Where did I get this? I think I got it from Tuesday morning. Um, but I had two, two packets of paper from Tuesday morning. And this one's going to be super little. So we're going to pull you way down there. Because we want the border to be even all the way around. Alright. And we got a couple more. Alright. Let's see what else can we put on this paper. Because we're going to cut this all out all at one time. I'm not going to sit here and go back and forth, back and forth. By gluing, cutting, gluing, cutting. I'm not doing that. So instead, I'm just going to space these out to where I feel like I can get an even border on this side and this side. Like you don't want a little tiny space like this in between the two here. Because you need two borders, one on this side and one on this side. So you, you need that border to be extra big. Bloop, 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 bloop. So anyway, what have you guys, um, have you heard anything about that? Do you watch the ASMR videos? Because I was thinking about doing a Patreon. And if I did a Patreon, that's what I would do there. Because I know that some of the crafters, um, they just do like extra bonus videos or what have you. And so I started thinking about it and I was just like, you know, I want to keep my videos accessible on YouTube. I don't want to um, make, I don't want that to be, I don't know how to explain that. Uh, these are super cute. These are actually Dollar Tree stickers here. Whee! I like the sound. 
that is what ASMR stuff is. I like these. Which is kind of funny because I remember um, going back and um, I would apologize for like not talking and it never dawned on me that sometimes that you guys might actually enjoy that better when I'm not talking versus when I am. Oh my gosh, look at those. Aren't they cute? They're owls. Those are the cutest things. Oh, I like these. These are very traditional. All right. So as you can see, I'm literally just grabbing stickers, pulling them out, and um, I don't know that those are going to fit well with this particular collection. So I'm just going to throw these back over here, out of the way, and I want to go with these first. And these are dimensional stickers, so I'm actually going to pull them off of the dot, because I don't want them on the dot. I'll leave this part, this part's okay, but to have that extra dot in the back, I don't want that. Because I don't know where these embellishments are going yet. I thought about making little Christmas packets, like um, loaded envelopes for you guys. I think that'll be really fun. Uh, I've got to show you my December daily too. It is too cute. I did a a Santa Claus, a Santa Claus theme. So uh, I've got like three different Santa Clauses. Um, Cause you know how like there's different versions of Santa Claus. Yeah. I did a Santa Claus theme. That was cute. All right. So I'm actually going to take because um, it is kind of shiny, I am going to take some art glitter glue here and I'm going to glue down this part here. Flip this over maybe. Yeah, there we go. Alright. I'm just going to put a little bit, just enough to kind of tack it down. And it's just this other layer that I didn't hit with Fabri-Tac. And then I'm going to find my pen that I just threw somewhere. There it is. I don't know. By the way, I've had people ask me where I get my pens. Uh, this pen and this pen was made for me. Um, and they came from Miss Melissa Franks. Um, Oh, she did a video the other day and um, she was showing you like the different things that she found at um, like thrift shop and like uh, thrifting rather thrifting and oh man she found some really cool stuff she found these magazines and oh man those are really cool I really enjoyed looking at those I'm just gonna pull this off because it's like annoying to be up there so I'm just basically deconstructing this sticker and I'm going to reconstruct it on my scrapbook paper. And once you have this filled up to your content, whether it's the whole page or whether it's half of it or, you know, if you're trying to save some of it, for whatever, then you just chop off the rest of it and there you go. I'm going to put the rest of these stickers on there. Uh, possibly. I 
but yeah, she's commented on some of the videos, so uh, you might be able to click on her name and then go over to her channel. Uh, I don't know. I heard they changed that, so I don't know if that's possible or not, actually, now that I say that. Because someone told me that you can't do that anymore. I was like, wait, what? Why? I was very confused. So who's still eating Thanksgiving dinner? Like, today is, uh, what is today? Today is Monday. You guys will see this Thursday. Um, we are finishing up the last of our Thanksgiving. But we didn't do nearly as big of a feast, if you will, this year than we normally do. Where did you go? There you are. Um, like, my husband only did a 10-pound turkey. Normally, we do a 20-pound turkey. And we have turkey for years to come. Like, it's crazy. So we just did a 10-pound turkey this year. And it actually worked out really well. Uh, and it was really good. He smoked it. Oh, my gosh. It was so yummy. I was sad when it when it ran out because I told him, I was just like, you have to go get another turkey. He was like, wait, what? Why? I was like, because we're out. <laughs> he was like, you liked it, huh? I was like, yeah. Because I normally don't like the turkey. Um, like after it sits in the fridge for a couple days, I don't like it because it dries out. Now this one, this one did not dry out. It was, it was num nums. But we also, um, put it in a Ziploc bag. So instead of just putting it in the tray or, you know, on a platter or something, we put it in a Ziploc bag and stored it in the fridge like that. Okay, so I've deconstructed all of these stickers and you could do them like separately if you wanted to. Like do this one here and you can actually get more bang for your buck if you do it like that. Do this one here. Do this one here. Beep, beep, beep. Got a little bow. Okay, I might put the bow up there because that little that's a little thing. No, I'll just do it separately. I know, I know, I changed my mind. I got a little Santa Claus with a greeting. That'll be cute, a December daily. Ooh, yay. Oh, I need to add a little bit of glue to that one. And so we can add something else to this completely. This is just a little tag. And so the reason that we're doing this is, the reason that we're doing this, uh, that was my new, my, uh, our general coach, uh, cause we have a big group and we have a coach in that big group and she just posted something in that big group anyway. Um, so what was I saying? I don't know what I was saying. Bloop. Think. Yeah, I don't know. I'll probably remember it in like an hour after the video is not on anymore. I still did something to my back and like, I don't know. I think it's because I'm sitting here. So much more. Alright, uh, let's pull you up. We're just going to pull you off. Uh, it was just a little piece of foam. So yeah, um, Melissa Franks is the one that made these two dangly danglies. Um, and then it took me a while to find a stainless steel pin. I went through like seven different pins because the box of pins that I bought from Amazon that said they were stainless steel lied. And I was like, no, I was very upset uh, because I got them for the sole purpose of being able to make little pins. Because that's the one that I made. Boop. It's very... Anyway, I finally found a pen. That was the point. Ugh. There's little foam dots everywhere. But that's kind of what you get with stickers. But this just kind of goes to show you that you can get three-dimensional stickers. You don't have to use them as three-dimensional stickers. 
can use them as whatever you want. And sometimes you can get really, really cute three-dimensional stickers for really cheap. Um, hopefully I'll have some three-dimensional stickers soon in the shop. I don't have any right now. I have the vellum and the rice paper and, you know, stuff like that. But I don't have um, anything else right now. Oh, and you know what else you could do? You can do like strips of ribbon. That'll be fun. Let's try that. I've never done that before, but it's on my desk. So I figured why not, right? All right. So we're just going to add you right here. I'm just going to put it straight down. Uh, like that. We're going to leave like a little border. Bloop. Just like we would anything else. And let's see. What else do we want to do? Oh, uh, we've got some of these. These will be cute. Season's greetings. These are um, probably easier to go down. But these are just flat stickers. I don't know where these came from. I think these are um, my big ideas, I think, possibly. Have a holly jelly Christmas. Come here, you. All right. Well, I got to glue that one because I just ripped the back of it. All right. So these super shiny ones here, I think I'd rather use this one. Wee. So what'd y'all think about that journal, huh? I still haven't decided if I'm selling it or not. Um, I have asked, somebody asked me, he was like, can you make me one? I'm like, oh, I can. It might be a minute, but I can. Um, it was kind of funny though. Uh, and I have a request for, um, a book of shadows and I'm just like, that's a little difficult because there is a very big difference between a grimoire and a book of shadows and um, they want specifically a book of shadows which is it's kind of like the difference between a generalized journal and like a book of records and you just don't want to do anything to offend the person that you're making it for. It's like making a prayer book. You don't want to do anything to offend the person. So you're very careful with what you put into a prayer book, right? Well, Book of Shadows is the same thing. Same concept. Um, you don't want to offend people by putting something in there that's not supposed to be in there. So I have to do a lot of research before I start that project. I make grimoire though. Grimoire is pretty easy because it's just like a journal, but it's more themed to whatever a religion is you're looking at. There's presents, candy cane. Oh, these are the same ones. All right. Um, I guess let's just finish this up and then we should be able to cut this out. Alright, and, oh my gosh, we're at 20 minutes already. It took me 20 minutes just to lay stickers down. Crazy. Alright, but most of these will be pretty easy because they're square. So there's that one. Um, let's see, what can I put right here? Uh, I think we'll do a red one. Santa, yes. Um, Santa Paws is coming to town is what that says. And oh my gosh, these cards are so stinking cute. I've got to show you some of these cards. We're going to cut most of these out real quick and then I'll show you kind of what they do and then I'll cut the rest of them out and I'll show you guys in the next video what they do um, or what they look like rather, not what they do. They're inanimate. They don't do anything. 
but let's show you guys real quick how easy this is. So let's just put that trimmer or that right over there. Let me grab my trimmer. I had to click off of OBS because I really did not want to accidentally click this off. All right, so there's one <clears throat> right there. Okay, so you can definitely trim these up and make them nice and pretty, but to have them ready to go into your pile of pre-made embellishments, that's it right there. Like you have um, this piece that has, well, piece, piece. Anyway, you have this piece that has this nice, pretty border that matches with everything. And all I did was put the cut aparts that came from the, um, the pack into, or onto rather, a piece of paper that was in the same collection. So I know they match. Um, and same thing, you can just cut here and you can have these ready to go and you can trim them up when you're ready to use them. You know what I mean? Instead of sitting here doing it right this second, you can do it when you're ready to use them. Or, you know, you could do it now if you have the free time to do it now. You don't have to do, like, just do whatever you have time for. So say you only have 20 minutes. Well, glue a whole bunch of things on the paper and get a rough cut. And there you go. You've got some ready-made embellishments that are you know, ready to go onto your projects. And I'll show you a little bit on what you can do with these because I do actually have some that I have used in projects already. Um, but you see how quickly this is when I'm not sitting here trying to actively like precisely cut these out. Now, obviously you can if that's what you have time for. But, I don't know about you guys, but I have a quite busy life where I don't always have an hour to sit down and craft. Like right now, I need to go and check on my kids. They're homeschooled. So I need to go and check on my kids and make sure they're still doing what they're supposed to be doing. And, you know, make sure that they get their break in because sometimes they'll just get to going and they'll forget to take the break. And I'm like, no, no, you have to take your break. So we just completely decorated that 12 by 12 piece of paper with seasonal stickers and seasonal cut aparts. And now I can show you guys kind of about um, what that does for you. So let's just move all of this out the way. And you've got all of these pieces ready to go into whatever, okay? And you can cut them down, fussy cut around the stickers. But they're all ready to go. You can use the kind of rugged edges to add character to whatever it is you're working on. Like this one here, it's got the two-tone because that's the border. That's actually kind of cute. I might leave that. Same thing with this one. It's got the two-tone there. So, I'll show you guys what I did um, with this. And here is an example. Like, this is a sticker off of the same paper pad. It comes with the sticker sheets. I got two of them. And I only use a handful of stickers. But I'm probably going to do that while... Um, while the camera's not on because it's literally exactly what we just did. Put it on the paper, cut it out. Um, but yeah, so I just put it on a piece of scrap of paper here and then layered it on top of something else. We actually did this in, um, I think it was the video yesterday, actually. Yeah, yesterday. And then I took that card and I put it on top of the altered book. So yeah, it's super easy to have a stack full of ready-made embellishments to go. Because a lot of people ask me, how do you have so many ready-made embellishments? That's how. 
So anyway, I hope you guys learned something and I hope you guys will have fun playing with your scrapbook paper, making some ready-made embellishments. So when you have time to sit down and do some crafting, you can just grab and go. So thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, you guys have a wonderful day.